안녕하세요, Tessa입니다. 반갑습니다. Hi, my name is Tessa, and welcome to my very first ever video. Today, I'm going to teach you how to read, write, and memorize Korean alphabet in a few minutes. I will show you how to memorize the alphabet effectively using these memory techniques that is being used by memory champions. Stick with me at the end of this video because you don't want to miss this opportunity of learning Korean so fast that it all begin right now. I will give you a short explanation in order for you to memorize every character faster than normal. Have you ever wondered why are we having challenges memorizing numbers and abstract things? We're hardwired to memorize image easily. We are a visual learner. The right hemisphere of your brain is very good at remembering image. Your brain is also skilled at remembering the unusual things compared to the normal stuff that we do every day. You don't waste memory space on what you ate breakfast for two weeks ago, but you can remember those emotional experiences that we had on the past. So by creating a funny image, create a story, put some emotions, and you'll have a long-term memory recall. This is how our brain works. If you say sky for an instance, your brain will quickly provide you with the image of the sky in an instant. You're not thinking about letter S, K, Y. You're thinking of a picture of a blue sky with the clouds on it and a, maybe a bird flying or maybe a goose or something. You get what I mean, you know what? This is why we can recognize a face of someone we met before, our classmates, but we forget their name. Does that make any sense to you guys? If you want to remember something, make an association of a thing you want to remember to a thing you already knew. Association is the method by which you look for a link or connection between the known and the unknown. If you want to memorize a letter G in Korean, you'll remember it to a number 7. Because it looks like a number 7, as you can see. And if you will count the order of letter G, it's the 7th letter on the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 7th letter. You can replace it on the top of number 7 or to make it more dramatic. You can smash it until the letter G crash to a letter G and 7. Another way of memorizing G is to think of a gun. Don't want to mess with a person with seven guns. <laughs> so here is the way you write letter G in Korean. It's one stroke letter, like that one. Just write it like this. Dun, 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 dun. The rule is always write from left to right or top to bottom. Don't write it in reverse order. Always write from left to right, top to bottom. Association can be done by placing it on top merging together, wrapping around each other like that thing, dancing together, being the same shape or feeling, color. Therefore, the technique is to associate every character to a meaningful and vivid image. And it will magically do the trick for you. If you can make a crazy, bizarre stories or make it a string link for recalling abstract image, let's take another example. Letter N. See that? Letter N in Korean is shaped like a nose. A nose starts with letter N. Or think about this image as a nose line. So we can associate letter N to a shape of letter L. So there is the way you write letter N in Korean. It's also one stroke letter. Just write it like this. Yeah, bye bye. It's shaped, it's shaped like a letter L. Next is letter D. The dog is always at the door. <laughs> I want you to imagine a door with a dog, a doggy doggy doggy, in front of it. You can post the video to look at this image. So here is the way you write letter D in Korean. It's two stroke letter. Just write it like this and one and two and two. just write it like this. One, two. 
Our next letter is letter R. Our image is a rattlesnake. Our image is a rattlesnake. See that? The rattlesnake starts with the letter R. Letter R in Korean looks like a number 2, or a mirror image letter S, which is why we associate it to a snake. So you can post this video to look at this image. So here is the way you write letter R in Korean. It's three stroke letter. Just write it like this. One, two, and three. Make sure to follow the order. So far we have letter G, N, D, and letter R. Next letter is M. So I image cleaning a very large monitor using a map while watching Dora the Explorer on a part where the map said, I'm the map, I'm the map. Letter M in Hangul is shaped like a monitor or map. This letter M is shaped like a box. Imagine a box full of monitors, mirror, and maps. So you can post the video and look at this drawing. Look at this image. <laughs> so here is the way you write letter M in Korean. It's three stroke letter. Just write it like this. A one, a two, a three, kablam. Next letter is B. Here's the image you can use. Letter B looks like a bucket or basong may laman tubig. Filipino word for a glass with half full of water. Or a cute little fuzzy bunny. Like this adorable little image. It is the best bunny inside the bucket. You can post the video to think about this image. It's a four stroke letter. Just write it like this. A one, a two, a three. Always write from left to right, top to bottom. Make sure to follow the order. Do not write it continuously. Next letter is S. Summit is the top of the mountain. Summit looks like a summit. So here is the way you write letter S in Korean. It's two stroke. Just write it like this. And one and two. The next letter is NG. NG is muted or no initial sound. So we don't have image for this to show you nothing. Because nothing ends in NG. Here is how you write the letter NG. A simple circle will do. Just one stroke like this. The next letter is letter J. -J, -J -A -A -A. Letter J is similar to letter S with the addition of one line on top. J is in jump. Do you know jumping jack? So here's the way you write letter J in Korean. It's two stroke letter. Just write it like this. One, two. Another way to write letter J is like this one. Always write from left to right, top to bottom. Next letter is CH. I want you to think of this image. It's a girl jumping doing her winning move. For CH in Korean, it's three stroke letter. Just write it like this. One, two, three. Always write from left to right, top to bottom. Make sure to follow the order. Hey. <laughs> hey. K. <laughs> K. <laughs> the next letter is K. Letter K is our key. It looks like a reverse letter F. You can post the video if you want to look at this image. Or you can think of any key that you will use in opening letter K. So here's the way you write letter K in Korean. It's a two-stroke letter. <laughs> it's a two-stroke letter. Just write it like this. One, two. Next is letter T. Chanan. Letter T in Korean is letter E. Have you watched the E.T. movie? The old alien movie. But I want you to think of another movie, which is the Aquaman, holding his funny little trident. Again, you can post it video if you want to look at this image. Or you can think of any image that looks like this. So here is the way you write letter T in Korean. 
it's three stroke and just write it like this one two and a three next letter is p letter p you can think of a pi symbol in math or this at this image real quick if you have a funny memorable image for any of these letters please leave it down on the comments below so other people watching this video can learn from it so here is the way you write letter p in korean it's four stroke and this is how you write it in korean three two one and the last letter is letter H. Then the letter H looks like exactly like a Korean hat. That hat we saw on many Korean drama. Also, if you watch Korean drama, you might be familiar with this image. So this is our funny hat. You can post the video if you want to look at this image. Or you can think of an image you think is right for this letter. So here is the way you write letter. So here is the way you write letter H in Korean. It's three stroke. Just write it like this. One, two, three. Imagination is so useful in memorization and visualize a unique, bizarre, horrible, comical, and emotional story. The more you recall it when you need to. That's about it for now. I hope you like this video and if you do, please hit that like button down below. You might want to consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any interesting video that I might upload soon. Bye! Tomato bye!